So I just wanted to show you my uh, hunting setup for this year. Um, I've made a couple changes. Um, one is to my gear and one is to my firearm. I just wanted to show you those, those things. I don't think I've been this excited over a piece of hunting equipment in a long time. And that is specifically about this uh, vest that I'm wearing today. Um, I'm gonna throw out all my old vests, all those old, you know, $25 orange vests that uh, you buy to just meet the requirements that we have in Canada to hunt with. Uh, this vest is a game changer. It was designed off of, you know, a military platform. It's got a modular Molly system with all of these pockets. Um, when you purchase it as a hunter package, it comes with the two smaller pockets, the medium pockets, the large pockets, and the pouch on the back. Um, this vest has been built a lot of a, a lot of thought and a lot of design has went into this thing and uh, I'm super excited about it um, I'm, I'm tired of you know last year I was out in the bush and I'm carrying a ground blind across my chest because I got a backpack on my back and I got a fanny pack on my side and I'm just as a hunter you're always rummaging through a backpack or you, you don't really have the best setup so it's about time somebody looked at the military and decided to apply some of those you know principles to uh to hunting i mean we're we're roaming the the bush here and uh you know we need to be comfortable and we need to be efficient doing that anyways they've they've put a lot of work and effort into this thing um it's a quality product uh, quality materials and uh, i'm really enjoying it so far um before i get into you know all of the the little details on this thing um, just again a shout out to uh, where I got it from here Canada hunt gear talk to Ralph he's a great guy they're made in Canada and uh, and uh, support local guys this is this is uh, a game changer anyways um, so it does meet you know the uh, requirements and regulations for orange in Ontario when we're hunting uh, which is nice because I can dress for the weather I can put on my you know, parka in the winter or, or dress light, it's not too cold out here today. Um, and then just throw my vest right over top of that. I don't have to worry about trying to fit my vest over top of my heavy winter gear or, or you know, having my vest in the way of my pockets on my jacket or, or all of those things that you, you see as a problem. Not to mention that as soon as you put that vest on and then you put a backpack on over top of your vest, your orange is no longer visible from the backside. Whereas this keeps everything on you easily ex accessible and uh, it's modular, you can move it, you can buy different accessories for it, uh, you know, you can, you can customize it to each person. And again, the qualities here, um, starting with its adjustability, uh, you know, it, it zippers up here, has additional straps to close up the front. The shoulder straps have, have good, thick, heavy, adjustable straps there. Um, I have it cinched up pretty much all the way. I like it to ride kind of high. Um, it feels comfortable that way. Everything's accessible. It doesn't get in the way of my waist when I bend or move. Uh, it also has adjustable straps on the side. So I don't care if you're if you're 350 pounds or if you're 150 pounds, this vest will fit you. Um, again, everything is just built with, with quality in mind and uh, uh, everything about it. I'm really enjoying it. Um, all of these pockets have straps and buckles that uh, you cinch up nice and tight. It's quiet, there's no Velcro, no straps to worry about. Uh, everything's held in here really securely. Uh, in the two small pouches, I got a GPS here, put my walkie in here, in my medium sized pouches. I have, you know, the stuff that I use regularly, my flashlight, you know, a knife. Um, it, it also has elastic retention for ammunition, extra ammunition on each of those two pockets. On my larger pockets, I like to put, um, like for instance in here, I have you know extra socks, I put my gloves in there, I keep my hat in there, uh, things like that, um, that you that are clothing related, uh, I put in there. I also have some TP stashed in there for being in the bush. Uh, in this pocket, I have everything I need to process my game. So I have a, a drag, like a deer drag in there, I have some extra rope in there, I have you know, I keep latex gloves, I guess I'm tired of blood under my fingernails, so I keep that in there. Um, inside there's a there's mesh pouch um, on either 
pocket, there's mesh pockets. One is just an open pocket, and then there's two zippered pockets in there as well. So that's where I keep all of my game tags, my licenses, things like that. Um, that's really nice and, and handy to have. Um, you can also use the Molly system. I got a knife strapped here, right? I have some other things strapped here. There's lots of room on this vest, guys. Um, the big pouch on the back, uh, this one, again, it's removable. I don't have anything in it right now, uh, but in the winter time, I'll be storing extra clothes in there, my warm gear, you know, put my layers in there. Um, I'm thinking that uh, in the summertime, I might just strap it down flat as opposed to getting rid of it completely. It's also got a cinch bag inside of it. So this gets very big. And uh, one thing I can't wait to do is this fall, I'm gonna get out there and do what I like to call chicken hunting and go look for some grouse. And when I shoot them, that's my bird bag right there on my back. Um, it, when it's tucked flat, I can still put a backpack, still put my ground blind. I like to be mobile. So I, I do bring a ground blind in the morning. I'll sit in my ground blind, but then as the day goes on, I like to, you know, hunt the terrain, hunt the wind, and see if I can't stir something up that's bedding halfway through the day or, or something like that. So I, I do like to be mobile, and uh, this allows me to do that. All of the load bearing, all of the weight bearing is on my body. I'm not, you know, hunched over with a, with a backpack or have a fanny pack tugging on my waistline. None of that. Uh, it works really well, and, and I'm enjoying it. Um, the other part to my hunt gear that uh, I'm looking forward to this year is my new firearm. I, it's from Black Creek Labs. This firearm is a BCL-102. It's non-restricted. It's chambered in 308 and it's semi-automatic. Um, I have a 6 to 24 scope. This gun can shoot out. Being a 308, it can hit some things at long range. So it's sighted in at 200 yards right now and I'll go further than that if I want. Um, but that being said, this is a longer range guns six times if something's in at 50 yards I also have the uh, pop-up iron sights in here now I like them made of steel as opposed to the plastic just something about being in the bush I don't want them to get wrecked uh, I do enjoy having the the steel ones so that instead of trying to search through my scope I can be here and I just can't my gun to the side I can look right down acquire my target quickly and shoot uh, for closer range if something comes in or you know again we're in north woods here so if I see a bear or I get charged by an animal I can react quickly and it's a great hunting and defense weapon I have a foregrip on here foregrip is great for keeping this firearm steady it's better than using the hand grail I enjoy it um, it just keeps everything steady it keeps it much more controllable and uh, this one also doubles as a tripod which is nice for uh, well, a bipod which is nice for being in the bush um, I put an extra carry loop on there for my strap other than that it's pretty straightforward um, I have put a single mount back here for my sling uh, and I do use a single mount sling I like it um, single mount slings are very diverse the one that I have also converts to a two-point sling just like that um, but again I like to use the single mount it's comfortable it's a nice place to uh, to start with you're always at your ready you can always be ready to uh, shoot if you need to in a hurry you can slip them around sometimes I like to carry them low and out of the way like this if I'm just doing something quickly uh, another place to hide it is just under this arm like that uh, it's a little more comfortable you can keep an, keep an arm on it you know where it's at um, one of my other favorite tricks with the single mount sling, stretch it out just a bit, tuck your foregrip in there like that, and you have your gun on your back. Single mount sling and it's slung across your back. You have both hands to, to work with as you want. Um, so I do enjoy that. That's one reason why I go with a single mount sling. They're very diverse in how you can use them. Anyways, uh, this is a semi-automatic, so I am going to send some lead out here for you to uh, take a look at it. Shooting Federal, 168 grain. Um, seems to be working pretty well with this gun. I got no complaints. Um, other than that, I, I tried some cheaper stuff in it, and uh, I did get a couple stove pipes. I don't know if that's because it's a brand new firearm, or yeah, you know maybe the uh, maybe the 
ammunition was um, not as not as much powder in it, not as much power coming out of there. But uh, I did get a couple stove pipes out of the cheaper stuff. This stuff's been shooting really well so far, so I don't really have much of a complaint. Um, this is a PMAG. It would hold 10, but it's pinned at 5. Again, in Canada, that's all we can have when we're hunting. When I'm on the range, I can have something that'll hold 10. But uh, when you're out in the bush, 5 is more than enough. Um, so anyways, I'm going to fire a couple of these. Just because I can. And it also has a dust cover, just like any AR format. So it's a, uh, it's a nice setup. Anyways, I figured I would let you guys know how I'm hunting this year. Take it easy.